Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Is anybody there? <laughs> okay. Hi, good evening. How is it going? How are you feeling? Hi there. Um, let me check. Camera, camera. Okay, can you see me and hear me clearly? Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. nice. Thank you for confirming that. Okay, so we're going to, yeah, we still have a couple of minutes to get more of your classmates. So what do you do today, um, Brenda? Well, nothing, just working, that's it. <laughs> the whole day. From what time to what time do you work? 8.30 to 6 today. And normally? It's a different schedule. to 5.30, no, mm. with the schedule. I understand, and mm -hmm. one hour for lunch. Uh-huh, right. Okay. Um, Juan Jose, you're back. Yes. <laughs> What happened to what happened to you yesterday? Ah, uh, okay, got many, it. Many many uh, do you hear me? I just heard yes. that it was something to do with the university, uh-huh. Yes. Yes, uh, it, it began the next uh, semester. Mm -hmm. And yesterday it was the first day. Uh, oh, okay. Continue. Yeah. Was very hard. Many students calling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in which area do you work? With with uh with which uh, majors? Engineering. Excuse me. You work with the engineering uh, majors. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let me see, Maritza. Did you have a good day today? Maritza, can you hear me? Okay, I, I got it, Diana, I got your message, thank you. Uh, let's see, Ana Mariela. Are you there? Hi. Yes. Hello. How was your day? Well, well, today was very busy. Busy. Yes. But oh. I think it was a good day anyway. Okay. Busy, but good. That's a good yes. combination. Mm, let me check. Okay, so apparently Ruth is going to have a little inconvenience today, but hopefully she will be able to join us for a uh, part of the class. Okay, let's see. Uh, Francisco, how was your day? Hey, teacher. Good. And you? I had a good day, a little busy, as Mariela said, but but it was a good day. I think it was productive. And it's Friday, so I think that my body, I mean, I mean, like they say, right? It's Friday and the body knows it. So yes. the body knows that you have to work another day. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Some people have the, the chance to work until noon, right? On Saturday, so it's not a complete day. And uh, the weekend is closer for, for others. So Blanca, good evening. Good evening. Hi. How was your day, Blanca? Um, 
It's very busy in the morning, really busy because I had a meeting and then I have to give to the sales, salesman all that they need and it was really busy. But in the afternoon, it's really relaxed. I don't know. <laughs> it okay. Was it was relaxing. Yeah. Okay, nice. Floor. Floridalma. Hello. Hello, did you have a good day today? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes, it was a good thing. Okay, okay. The, the, your face was like, eh, another day. Uh -huh. No, it was really busy. But busy. it was a good day. Okay, okay. Yes. I'm glad so, to hear that. Yes. Miguel Angel, yes. thank you for sharing, Fleur. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Do you have a good day? Uh, yes, teacher. I had a great day because uh, I finished uh, the work um uh it's it's busy uh, in the afternoon but it's a good day no not important the okay. the, the important is uh, uh we finish uh, the work that's right okay that yes. we are safe and sound at home right yes okay yes, it's, it's, yeah excellent okay no thank you for sharing Okay, I was taking a look at the background so that my shirt is dark and the background is dark. So everything is like dark, not good. Okay, uh, so let's move on. Rolando, the, I, the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour. That is a, an idiom that I learned in 2010. One teacher uh, that was a coworker of mine uh, told me that the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour. That means that it's someone who, who's cool and everybody has a good relation with him or with her. So it's an expression I use in, in, in that case. And you have a lot of fans. So I, I, I suppose that you're famous among your classmates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, okay. Hello. Thank you, thank you for thinking in that form about me. <laughs> well, that's the reaction that I see in your classmates. So that's that's great. They are happy when you're when you're participating. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I uh, I had extra extra feeling. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, yeah. so we need those feelings, okay, in everybody. So nice to see you and we continue with Beatriz. Nice Can you... you. Hi, Miss. Hi, teacher. I have a problem with my head phone. Oh, okay. But you can hear me right now. Yes, I'm trying okay. to this. Okay, perfect. Uh, Freddy's. Hi, teacher. Hello, how's everything? It's all right, kind of tired. All right. A lot of work too? Yeah. Okay. Today was a uh, busy day. A busy day. Well, maybe because we're beginning a new month, I don't know. Usually the beginning and the end of the month are complicated. Uh, Actually, my job is always complicated. Really? Okay. Yeah. What do you do? I'm a plumber. Plumber. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Wait a second. Okay. So uh, you work from Monday through Friday, right? Saturday. And Saturday too. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's all a lot day. of work. All day, all night. From five o'clock to to seven o'clock. Wow. You have a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, Jackie, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I okay, there you are. Now I can see you on the camera. That's great. 
I was uh, finishing my dinner. Ah, nice. Buen appetit. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's check. Carla, welcome back. I think you have some connection problems yesterday, right? Hi, teacher. Yes, I have a connection problem and I have uh, to be at work at around 9 p.m. Okay. And I'm back to my home around 10, 10 30. Wow. That's um, an issue. Yes, and okay. today I'm very, very tired, but. You will, you, yeah, you, we're finishing the week, so I promise that on the weekend, you, you will not hear about me <laughs> or about the class. So you, it, I will give you the weekend off, okay? To every, I will give everybody the weekend off. So let's go on. Uh, Jennifer. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm Fine. just a little bit tired and I'm happy because it's Friday. <laughs> but I could have sleep until later tomorrow. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, I got it. Thank God it's Friday. That's what they say, right? T G I F. Yeah. <laughs> T G I F. Uh -huh. So let's check. Has uh, been a, a busy week. Yeah, I, I bet it's been a busy week. Uh, but we're Salvadorians. Luckily, <laughs> um, so we're strong. We're uh, like the Spartans, right? Um, the 300. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, nice to hear you. Jessica, Yanari. Can you hear me? Uh, maybe not. Hello. Uh, I think you've got some connection problems right now, uh, Gennady, but don't worry. Uh, now we already know that you're there, so we could hear you for a moment and hopefully you get a better connection soon. Okay, so we're going to get started. Uh, I am going to check the chat, okay. Yeah, maybe you can write you can write through the chat. My internet teacher. Yes, I, I have problems. Now I hear you clearly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I lost you again. So you can use the chat, okay, to uh, write down uh, if you want to say something else. Anybody, right? Whenever you have some technical problems, remember that we can communicate in different ways. Okay, so uh, we're ready to start. Uh, Ruth is already here and Diana too, but because of different reasons, they cannot speak right now. So we're just going to um, be working with them and for a moment, right? And then they're going to be back completely. So uh, quickly, I was already taking the attendance we're going to move on to the next part. And that is something a little bit funny. So, do you know about tongue twisters? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. So, uh, sorry, I don't hear you. What, what are you asking? If you know about tongue twisters. Yes. We know. Okay. Do you know any tongue twister in English? Yes. Which one? Which one, Rolando? <laughs> <laughs> the karma, Rolando. Uh, okay. uh -huh. We know three tongue twisters. Uh -huh. Which one? Uh... Um, um, we know in the woodchuck, woodchuck. Ah, the woodchuck, uh huh. Woodchuck, we know uh, very boat, very butt, okay, or very uh -huh. bottom, and ice cream. I am still using screen, well, screen for screen. 
Ah, okay, got it. So do you remember, well, can you say one of them? Uh, I don't understand the question. Can you can say? You, can, can you say one? Can oh. you tell us tell us one? Um, yeah, I can. Okay. I will. I will. I will say the the, the easier. Ice cream. You scream. Will scream. for ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the easiest one. Okay. Uh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know another. Uh, but we know. We know four. Uh, uh, what is the other I remember. one? Remember, yeah, uh, the other one is uh, she sell, she sell by this she sold, she sell, she sell, or she sells, I'm sure. So if she sells, she shall by this she sold, then I'm sure she sells, she sure she sell. Okay. Uh, I think that if, yeah, she sells seashells by the seashore, that's the one that I remember. Uh, and do you know the one that is about witches? No, no, no. And about a shoe shine shop? Shoe shine shop? No. 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 Okay. Uh, well, that's those are the two new ones that you will get today. Very uh, nice. It's nice for us. <laughs> okay. So let me share the screen with you. So I'm just. Uh, changing the font so that it's clear for everyone. Okay, let me check. Uh, here we go. Okay, perfect. Hey, Laura, welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hello, pretty good. What about you? And I'm in my job. Oh, working. Yes. Working hard or hardly working? I can hear you. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> that's that's working, a, hard. working hard. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, so that's a little. Uh, Rhyme, right? Like a tongue twister, but no, it's like more like a rhyme. Are you working okay. hard or, or hardly working? Uh -huh. So <laughs> two different perspectives, right? But they sound similar. Okay. So we're going to check these two tongue twisters. Uh, the first one says, Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, let me check. Where she sits, she shines. Okay, there's a little typo here. Wait a second. Uh, and where she shines, she sits. That Yeah, it's in the wrong order. So I'm going to move it here. And this one here. Okay, perfect. So I got it now. You see the correction on your screen? Okay, where she shines, she sits. Easy. And the other one is, if three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? So um, we're practicing two sounds. In the first one, we're focused on the, on the sounds uh, s and sh, right? The two sounds. And the second one, we're with the wu, right? Which, were, would, uh, what, and also the ch, right? With watch, uh, which, which, uh, so those are the two tongue twisters. We're going to try to practice, okay? So listen and repeat after me. If you want to turn on the microphone, that is okay. If you don't want to, but you, but you, oh, you remember that you need to practice it, okay? So the first one, Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Repeat. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Okay, shine shop, right? Not shine shop. Um, then where where she sits, <laughs> she shines. <laughs> where she, she, she sits, she shines. Shine. Uh, and where she shines, she sits. And where she shines, she sits. Where she 
Chichang Chichang. It sounds like Chinese. Chichang <laughs> Chung Ching. Okay. So uh, two things. Okay. One is that uh, in English we have two similar sounds. The SH is long, sh, right? Like when you ask somebody to keep silence, sh. And the other one that is CH that is short. When you say, uh, for example, chop the onion, chop the vegetables, or when you say chair, sit on the chair, right? So it's a, ch, it's a short ch sound. And this one that you see in the tongue twister is long. So it's not chi, it's she. It's not shine, it's not chines, it's shines, right? So it's not chop, it's shop, shop. Right, so Sally sits in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Say it, please. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. She sits. She sits. She sits. Where she shines, she sits. Okay, it's not chicha, right? She shines. Okay. I know it's Friday, but no, okay, not yet. Um, so we're going to uh, go on to the next one, okay? Listen and repeat. If three witches were watching, three watches. If three witches were watching, three watches were watching. Three witches were watching. Three watches, uh-huh. Which witch? Which 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 okay what is it what is okay wait a second so what is the difference in the pronunciation let me just the get tea. it <laughs> with which with the t okay so the first one is pronounced which right which, the same which. yeah like uh we at the beginning which. right inch which right normal which uh which. and the second one it which. has has a little Interruption, which. a little interruption which. in the middle. Which. So you say which, right? Which. So which. it's which, 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 uh -huh. which, which, what, which, what, which, uh huh, which, which, what, which, 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 Wait, wait a second. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, you got excited already. So we're going to practice the complete on twister. So it goes: If three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? Repeat. If, if three, three witches were watching, watching three which watch which watch? Okay, you got the idea. Okay, uh, now, because of time, because of time, we are going to, uh, let's say, we're going to leave this uh, and we're going to listen to different people, but on Monday, okay? So on, on Monday, I'm going to ask you, when we start the class, to tell me one, one of them, okay? One by one. So we're going to have uh, the opportunity to listen to everybody saying one tongue twister at least, okay? So right now we are going to be like La Neveria, right? Two for one. Why? Because we are going, I am going to send you to the breakout rooms, okay? And you are going to share two activities. First, to practice this right now, you are going to practice saying the tongue twisters, right? In your group. And uh, you can take a screenshot if you want. And after you finish, you start with the one minute talk. So you are going to share with your classmates about the topic that you selected, okay? And you're going to express your opinion about that or you're going to talk about that topic for one minute, approximately, right? Maybe 45 seconds, 50 seconds, but more than 30 seconds, okay? So the idea is that you speak as much as possible. So, um, for that, you're going to be in the breakout rooms. And as I see right now, we are 20. So that means that we're going to have exactly, uh, let me check, six. No, that would be five groups. 
So uh, four members each, right? So in the room number one, we're going to have uh, Mariela, Francisco, Freddy's, and Maritza. Room number two, it will be Floor, Jacqueline, uh, Jennifer, and Rolando. Room number three, Blanca, Diana, Miguel, and Ruth. I think I will make a little modification here because um, one of them cannot speak right now. So I will send her to this one. Okay. Um, and the last one, give me just a second. Okay, we have Miguel, Blanca, okay. Ana Beatriz, Brenda, Carla, Glenda, Juan Jose, and Merlin. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to make a quick modification and we're ready to go. So that's what you're going to do right now. You're going to practice the two tongue twisters so you can say one of them or the two if you say, say them fast. And then uh, you're going to start talking about your speech, right? You're going to start giving your speech. So for this activity, as, as we have two activities in one, I am going to give every group, right, in total, a maximum of eight minutes, eight minutes. It should be more than enough, okay? It should be more than enough. I'm going to stop by to check if you are done. And when you're finished, we're going to go back and I will ask for some volunteers to share their speech with the class, right? So a couple of volunteers, maximum three, uh, who would like to say their speech to, the, to everybody. So uh, do you have any questions before I open the breakout rooms? Yes, no, maybe. No teacher. Everything no. is clear. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let me. Teacher. Hello. I have a problem. I am driving now <laughs> to my home. Oh my goodness. Be very yeah. careful, please. So uh, we're going to be waiting for you, right? To be able to speak. So yes, thank you. In, okay, thank in the you meantime, you can listen to your class. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. So I will make a quick modification and yeah, we're ready. So here we go. One, two, three. Right now it's exactly 827, let's say. So we're going to come back at 835. Ready, set, and go. Teacher, I don't have the invitation. I will say it to you right now. I was checking that. No worries. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You you were supposed to be in one of the groups. Okay, Miguel Angel, uh, Ruth, Jessica, Yunari, please accept the invitation. Merlin, the same. So here I have we go. Problem, teacher. I can You cannot enter. Okay, let me try again. Mm. Okay, Flor, do you get the imitation? Perfect. Let me check. Janari, I will send you to the room number two. Okay, perfect. You got it, and here we go. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three. Okay. Hey, long time no long time no see, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I tell I talk to Jackie because I have never turned on my camera with her. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Can you believe her? She said that she's shine. No, oh. it's not because of that. It's because my camera is too bad. I don't like it. It's like all the time. Pixelada. Pixeled. No, but you look clear. Mm -hmm. Well, you you yeah, I see you clearly. So yeah. Maybe when you, I, when you I, see yourself. When I have a background, the background sometimes uh, is on my Covers face. Your face. Because when I move, it's not that good my camera because of the resolution. <laughs> ah, okay. Maybe that's a problem. Or you need a, a green uh, a green background or uh, one solid color in the background so that works better yeah because sometimes it's uh it's not that um <laughs> it's a little messy uh-huh okay yeah, go ahead little messy. Little messy. perfect but so okay who is going to start well, Rolando is a gentleman so i think he will start um me <laughs> <laughs> well, I will. Let me check because I have to move this. Now, nah. okay. Sally sit on a shoe shine shop where she sit, she shine, and where she shines, she sits. If three witches, hey. were, if three witches were watching three watches, which which will watch which watch. Good. <laughs> A clap for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Reaction. Okay. <laughs> Do you like to continue, uh, Jennifer? Okay. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. If three witches were watching, three watches with wit would. What? Which what? Nice. Nice. Wow. Good job. <laughs> Jacqueline? Fireworks. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. If three wishes were watching three watches, which which will watch which watch Ooh, okay. nice. okay. hey, now a clap for me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well okay. i will i will say again okay sally sit on a show shine shop where she sits shine and where she shines it she's <laughs> <laughs> Shine, she sits. Shine, she sits. This, this. Wit. The, ne the wit. second is which. It's a short wit. Wit. Yes. <laughs> try to do, try to say again. Yes. Okay, again. Yes. Who? Cool. Um, Blanca. Ah, okay. If three witches were watching three watches, which did? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Which? Again, again. Which? Yes. repeat it. If three witches which? were watching three watches, which witch will watch which watch? Okay. Okay. I tried. <laughs> uh, yes. I tried to say. <laughs> If 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 three witches were with if three witches were watch three watch which which would watch which watch that's hard. 
Boa noite, gente. Boa noite, Ok, ok. If you wish to watch, which, which will watch, which watch? Cells, 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 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is shell. Yeah, this is so. That's the best thing to do, I think. Join um, uh, responsibilities, studies, but also enjoying playing a lot. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Good. <clears throat> yeah. Carla? In my case, the topic I would like to, to talk about what, what can I do, what, what can I do in my free time? I don't have too much free time. I had a hard work. I work in a company, industry company. We work 24 seven, Monday to Sunday. Um, but when I have free time, I love to be with my friends, spend time with my, I live alone, but I love to be alone really. And then, I, but I love to, to be with my friends. They come to my home, uh, they cook. I spend time with my family too. And maybe with my grandma. And for example, this week it was very hard for me. I, I'm, going, I'm going to rest this weekend, Sunday, because I have to work tomorrow all day maybe i don't know i have to work normally it's 8 a.m to 12 but in some cases like this week uh, i have to work um all day i don't have i don't have uh, too much free time okay uh, would you like to start with the first sentence that the teacher uh, show us in the screen Oh, yes, I have it. Let me see. Where she shines, she sees. She sees. She sees. Correct. With S. Yeah, with the S at the end. Okay. If three. Witches. Witches. If three witches were watching three watches, which witch right. would watch which 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 watch? It will be which which will watch which watch. Which 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 the third is which. Yeah. Uh, and the second which. With the T. I was so tired. Okay, who wants to be the first? Um, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay. <laughs> okay, I chose I will question. take the time. I will take the time. Okay, please. It, it will take just 30 seconds, maybe. Okay, no worry, go ahead. One, okay. two, three. Three. Okay, um, hello, I choose a question. And the question is, what qualities do you want to see in a leader? Hey, well, I am... Um, I look or I want, I, 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 sorry, excuse me. I look for a phrase and, and that phrase uh, tell, the function of a leader is to produce more leaders, not more followers. Yeah. I don't know what do you say, uh, excuse me teacher. Uh, the most important qualities for the, of a good leader include integrity, empathy, humility, 
resilience and influence and possibility. I don't know how do you, can I pronounce that? True leaders, is, true leaders inspire loyalty, enthusiasm, and help uh, and challenge people uh, to do better things that, that they, I don't know. It's my idea. Only that. Very good. Hi, Danari. Okay. Very Excellent. good, very good, very good. Very how good. many, how much time take me uh, my speech? Could you tell me, Jennifer, please? One minute with 20 seconds. Wow. Oh my God. I was thinking it, um, it was take me just uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> but it was good. It was more than that, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was more okay, than that. Okay, but I have some problems with the pronoun correct pronunciation. And for example, I don't know how do you say um, superarse. I was looking for a word or for a phrase in uh -huh. um, in a in the dictionary, but I can I okay. Didn't so what do you want to say? And well, leaders inspire to people or to the employees superarse. Inspire to, over, to, to overcome themselves. Overcome, overcome themselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Themselves. Yeah, it, can, it depends. My... It depends on what you're talking, right? You can say overcome myself, overcome yourself, overcome themselves. If we're talking about general, right, and other people. So yeah. Um, overcome themselves. Okay, thank you. That's it. You're welcome. Okay, For perfect. Me. Next, who's missing? Rolando. <laughs> you're a little bit late. To Okay. So oh. I was a little bit nervous. Why? Because I had to wait like about an hour for the bride. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hello, uh, did you finish? I know. Uh, so, so. <laughs> so, so. The speech, we who's missing? the topic because we didn't have time at work. Oh, my yes. God. That's an issue. <laughs> Okay, so, so we're making it up. <laughs> you're making it up. That's right. So that's kind of improvising, but I guess yeah. that we just have um, one more minute. Okay, so that's a pending task for you. So okay. who wants to try now? <laughs> yeah, just try I, it out. That that is that's the most I, important one. Okay, I would like to talk about my teams, 11 members. <clears throat> the objective is putting a ball in the opposite teams and scoring a ball. To score on a ball for the footballer must use the feet, only feet, head, or any part of his body, except uh, his hands. Because if you do this, you carry a penalty. If mm. you do a fall, the referee uh, show you a yellow card or red card, depending the fall. Mm -hmm. um, soccer consists of rolling in a ball to the reach. Um, the winner teams is considered by the number of goals you score and approximate time uh, uh, 90, 90 minutes. Um, I think <laughs> the soccer is one of the most pop popular um, practices sport in the world. Uh, even, <laughs> even today, uh, various uh, soccer competition that can be played between teams uh, from the same country or between teams from different countries. For example, this is my, my favorite uh, sport. Uh, I choose uh, the topic. 
the teacher send link. Okay. Do you practice? Do you practice football, soccer? Yes, yes. I uh, I I currently practice uh, in my in only in my free time. Uh, for example, Sunday in the afternoon. Only on the Sunday. Oh my God! Only Sunday. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. okay. And you, Blanc? All right, so apparently it took us a little bit more than uh, what I expected, right? But it is because everybody was trying to do the two activities, right? So uh, in the case of people that because of work or a lot of responsibilities were not able to really prepare their one minute speech, you can send me a recording, right, uh, individually so that I can listen to it and uh, give you some feedback, right? Just in case it, I mean, you need that, right? So uh, you can send it to me directly through the chat uh, in WhatsApp, as you already know. And that is, remember that is an extra practice, okay? So practice, it's always good, even if it is not a score, okay? Cause that's just a compliment. Now we're going to get started in, with the two volunteers who would like to share the topic with the set with the class. So I don't know if there are two volunteers who would like to give their the little talk, their little speech. Can we propose some someone? Uh yeah, I guess. <laughs> Can I propose Rolando because his presentation is so good. Oh, okay. Well, it looks it looks like he worked so hard. Okay, he worked hard in the presentation. So, if that's okay with you, you can do it, Rolanda. Okay. Well, hello everybody. Today I will share about, about what is Spotify. Spotify is a new app that is available for PC, Mac, and modern smartphones, which allows to you, you to stream music from a, a vast catalog distributor through the Spotify Central who and source it from every other Spotify user. To use Spotify, you will first need to download Spotify software from www.spotify.com. Then once installed, Spotify looks a lot like other media players such as iTunes. But there is a big difference. You don't have to download the music in order to listen to do it, to it. Instead, you can simple stream to all your internet connections. How Spotify works? This is a, a simple uh, steps. First, login, login and share. Two, search for music. Three, process the requests. Four, share and share alike. Five, listen and share. And six, if you want, pay the premium account. Thanks. Okay. So that was a little bit of advertising that, that for, for them, but yeah, I mean, that's what uh, Jennifer was trying to say. So congratulations uh, for working right on that presentation. That was a, an extra one. Um, so that's giving more, right? That, that when you're expected. 
or requested in this case. So do we have another volunteer, somebody else? Quickly, we have just uh, one minute to share. Do you want to name someone that you think would be really nice hearing their speech from? Or that's okay. We're we're good with uh, with Rolanda's speech. I have I have a question for uh -huh. everybody. Did you understand how to work Spotify? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. This yes, is the, this is the important. I use Spotify. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. And if I find a free version that you can skip songs and you don't have to pay. I use premium Spotify because it's important for stream the cable songs. It's not. It's not the paid version. Okay, all right. Okay. So we're going to move on. Thank you so much, Rolando. I was taking the pictures. So as an evidence that you were doing that. Okay, so let's practice a little bit more, okay? But this time we're not going to be uh, focused that much on writing, but we're going to do a little bit, I mean, it's not going to be on speaking, but we're going to focus more on writing. That's what I meant. So what are we going to do? Quickly, I need you to get your notebook ready, okay? We just have around five minutes, okay, for doing this. So it will be really, really, really fast. Okay, so the last time we practiced with some categories, right? So I told you that you could do that kind of exercise by yourself in order to check or try to remember some vocabulary that you already know, but you don't use so frequently. So what we're going to do right now is to do it based on the alphabet. So I'm going to mention three letters one by one, okay? And you're going to write down as many words as you can in one minute that start with that letter. For example, if I say the letter C, you are going to start writing down all the words that you remember in English that begin with the letter C. For example, car, color, uh, curve, and then you can combine the CR or the CH, for example, cross or chair or uh, shot. Well, in this case, that would be like, uh, mm, I would say, choose as a verb. So, uh, and then you go like that. So it will be just three letters, one minute for each to see how many words you can write down about each one. So the first one, the first letter, um, you have one minute, remember, words that begin with that letter. No names, no cities, no, what, places, just regular words, okay? So the first letter for you is the letter M, M, for example, mother, monkey, Monday, movement, moon, and so on. One minute begins now. All the words that you know that begin with the letter or start with the letter M. Okay, 10 seconds. It's five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, so quickly, we're going to move on to the next letter. Um, the letter is F, for example, fly, focus, film, and so on. Father, one minute, go now.
two, one, and time is up. Last but not least, okay, we're going with an easier one. One, one letter that you can write down a lot of words with is the letter S. For example, share, sit, sun, smile, and so on. Ready, set, go. And time is up. Okay, so we're going to quickly just count how many letters you have. In the meantime, I'm going to take the attendance, okay, to check who's here and who's not. Uh, so count the total of words that you have, please. And let's begin. Let me check. I'm going to go back here. Okay, so. Um, First person, Beatriz, are you there? I'm here. Okay, excellent, thank you. We continue with Elizabeth, she's not here right now. Uh, Mariela. I'm here. Brenda. I'm here. Carla. Here. here. Diana. Okay, what was that? I give you. That was scaring, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh Flor Hidalma. Uh, I'm here. Then we have Francisco. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Laura. Mano. What? Laura, okay. Harvin. Harvin didn't make it today. Uh, Jennifer. I'm here. Okay. Juan Jose. I'm here. Karen. Karen won't, I mean, won't be here today. Let's go on with Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Nice, Merlin. I'm here. Thank you. We'll continue with Miguel, Miguel Angel. Here, teacher. Okay, after Miguel Angel, we have Rolando. Hello. I'm here. Hello. Okay, Ruth. I'm here. I'm here. Suleyma. Didn't make it today. Let's go on with Janari. Janari, are you there? Uh, Jackie. I'm here, teacher. Blanca. I'm here. And Freddy's. Here. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. We're going to move on. Uh, did you count how many words you had in total? 
an average, you can uh, let me know, okay? So you can write down in the chat if you want, just write down the number of words that you had, just to have an idea about how many. Uh, 36, 41, okay, 36, very good. Thank you, Diana, Freddy's, Blanca, Miguel, and Mariela, 37, okay, perfect. 48, 35. That was good. Uh, they were good numbers. Okay, 35, 44. And you see the examples. Uh, okay, you, well, you cannot see the example, but I'm going to copy and paste <laughs> some examples uh, that one of your classmates shared through the chat. Okay. Just in case you forgot about any of them, you will, like, oh yeah, that one, how could I forget it? Okay, so that's, those are the ones and um, why not? You can continue practicing with the rest of uh, uh, letters of the alphabet, right? So the next one, we're going to move on. And this was just the activation for the next activity because right now you are going to uh, complete the exercise number seven. So what do you need for this? Only one page, right? You need a pencil or pen. And what is the indication for this exercise? Uh, Brenda. Uh, let's tell Number me. seven. Sorry? Exercise number seven. What is the okay, indication? write a 10 line paragraph. Sorry, write a 10 line paragraph where you describe process you have to follow in your workplace, use transitions, expressions, from the box. Okay, so what are those transitions, uh, transition expressions that you that we practice? These ones First, right here, right? After. Uh -huh, exactly. Afterwards, you can use then. Finally, after. Uh, after that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. After that, after that was the other one that we were missing. So those are the transition expressions that you will use for completing the exercise. What are you going to do? Simple. You are going to write down a 10 line paragraph of a process that you follow in your job, right? So similar to the example that we have, right? It's a little paragraph, let's say, uh, in your notebook, it's, it's not that much, right? So, uh, and then you will share with your partner in pairs, right? So, uh, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms just in case you want to probably ask a question to your classmates, but the activity is individual, okay? So writing is important. It's part of the, of the creation or production process of the language. We have been doing speaking, but not too much writing. So this is the moment where you can practice more. Okay, so for this activity, you will have a 15 minutes, maximum 20. Okay, for writing your paragraph, that is 10 line, uh, more or less, okay? So, uh, do you have any doubts about this exercise in particular? Yes, no? No. No, okay, perfect. So we're going to, well, I'm going to give you the space. If you have any doubt, please let me know. I will be here to help you out. Okay, inspiration mode activated. Teacher, I have to disconnect just for a while. I go back as soon as possible. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms in purse, as I told you, right? In case you, you want to share with a classmate or you want to ask each other some questions or give each other some ideas, why not? You can, you can definitely share ideas about work because all of you work, right? So uh, sometimes we need some inspiration from other people. So we have 18, that will be eight. Break our rooms. Mm. One, two, one, two. Okay. Let 
screen. Six and Okay, here we go. You can accept the invitation now. Okay. Okay. Um, the uh, activity is write a ten line paragraph where um, you describe a process you have to follow in your work. work mm -hmm. um, but uh, teacher, excuse me. Uh, mm -hmm. For the homework in this moment, um, it's uh, individual. Each one. Ah, uh, it's individual. Yeah, it's individual. It you, you you are in the in the breakout room. Just in case you need an idea or you want to ask a question to your classmate, right? But right now you are working individually to create one paragraph about one process or one procedure that you follow in your in your job. Okay, so yes. that's what you're going to do. Okay, okay thank you. Um, okay. But um, for, for the partner. Uh, and I don't know if you, Maritza, you can start. Okay. Um, um, my pros, um, my processus, processus. Uh -huh. in, so, in, in this moment, you uh, you have you can get ideas, right? Pueden tomar algunas ideas de, de el uno del otro. Sin embargo, no es necesario. Pueden hacerlo individual, escrito, y ya cuando terminen, lo pueden compartir. Okay, tienen 20 minutos aproximadamente para poder hacerlo. Okay, en, en su cuaderno, en la computadora, donde le salga más fácil. Okay, un párrafo completo yes, donde okay, descri okay. describan un proceso de su trabajo. Mm -hmm. And you have to use the transition yes. words, right? First, then, after that, afterwards, okay. finally. Uh -huh. yes. Exactly. yes, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um finally I I sent different reports uh, to my my boss. This is my procedures procedures I wanna uh, I follow in my jobs. Oh that's very nice. Did, mm -hmm. did you write did you write down those those uh steps um Miguel? Yes, teacher. Uh, I I want to tell you about my procedures. Uh, I I says uh, I tell you a Brenda, for example, first, uh, next, then. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I just I just wanted to make sure that you that you copy that in your nap, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes, it has to be a, a, around around ten lines, right? Around ten lines. Yes, Teacher, yes. one question. No? Este, question. But it has to be um, everything that we do in our um, workplace or just one thing that we want to tell? It's just one thing. You don't have to say everything. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. If it is a complex procedure, but if you don't have a complex procedure, probably you can mention more than one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, cool. Flor, did you listen to the indications? 
No, okay. No, so you're, going, you're going to do the exercise uh, number seven that is on, um, and we'll share the screen, wait a second. Okay, right here. So you're going to write down a, a 10 line paragraph where you describe a process you have to follow in your workplace. Okay, and use the transition uh, words or expressions from the box. The ones that we practiced the days before. First, then, after that, afterwards, finally. That is the task. So it's individually, you have approximately 15 minutes more, and then uh, you will share it with your classmates. Okay. okay. I'll be back later. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Hey guys, is, that, is everything okay? Okay, what is the question? How many times can we use after that? Um, not only once, but it is good that you alternate, okay, the, the, the transition words or expressions. Because I use once, then, then I use after that, I haven't used afterwards. So, uh -huh. but I only have. You can use days. next. Done it. I think I done it already. Mm -hmm. Or you can use other words that are not in the list. For example, you can say moreover. You can say besides that. Uh, in addition. In oh, addition okay. to that, yeah. So you can use more. Those are just the basic examples. Hello guys, do you need any help? Or everything's okay? Actually not, I'm fine. For okay, me. good. We are hey. Perfect, if you have a doubt, you know, you can let me know. You have 15 minutes to go. Once you finish, you can share it with your, with your partners, okay? Good. Is everything okay around here? Do you need any help? Do you have any doubt? Uh, for me, uh, so -so. all is okay, teacher. How all about okay. you, Francisco? Uh, so, so, uh, my, I create a little process to to clear for example the car uh, this this the, the, the step is the first step will be the prior the main seat the next the next step is to write the interior uh then we Hello, ladies. Uh, do you have any doubt? Any? Do you need any help? Mm. No, I can't. Everything is okay. That. Okay. Okay. Perfect. As soon as you finish your 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 paragraphs, you will share it with your partners. Okay. You will read okay. your your creation for your for your classmates. <laughs> How much time we have, teacher? You have approximately 10 minutes more. 10 minutes more. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to create a good paragraph. So that is the idea, right? That you practice enough. Okay, 10 lines. Yeah, approximately 10 lines, exactly. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that I have already come to this place, right? Yes, okay. I'll be back later on.
these faces look similar you say yeah they 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 look, they familiar. look familiar they look familiar to me and 50 at uh, 850 uh, then i connect to uh, the program to talking calls uh, for to be available then i then I, I open the remote desktop and open the document that I I will use in the old day. And after that, well, finally, uh, I just wait that I receive the, the first call. And this up uh, to 5 p.m. At 5 p.m., uh, I finish my work in this moment. Every day. Sorry? Every day? Do you have all the, the uh, activities? In this moment, yes. From uh, Monday to Friday in this week, I go to, uh, to uh, 8 a.m. to from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and tomorrow I go, I will work from 8 a.m. to 12. But now in my account I have a schedule ro ro rotative. Okay. 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 In my case, uh, the the work um, is not. Um, routine um, um, but uh, we are to uh, call or answer the email uh, it first first you review or check uh, I, it is check I think take the review and have to answer specialty when are the student but I receive a, a email from my co-worker uh, the principal, other other principal in the in the university, uh, the the most the most um, the activities most repetitive yeah, is uh, the calling from the student in this moment in this moment. But uh, because we are going to to start the next semester, and um, is uh, is hard very hard. Uh, the continuous uh, calling from the student uh, all day, all day um, the student calling uh, for many, many uh, co-workers uh, because in, in the university we have um, several career and each uh, co-worker uh, must to assist uh, to a student, it depends what kind of student is calling? Uh, uh, but only uh, when the student uh, have an inscription for the next semester. But uh, sometime, for example, in, in this week, we are going to plan um, uh, the, we are going, we are planning, we are planning the, um, the class, um, the schedules, the schedule for the next semester. Uh, we are um, uh, entrevistar. I don't know how do you say entrevistar, teacher. Um, interview. Interview. Yes. We, in this in this moment, we are interview uh, to many many teacher. Um, many of teacher there are new never have, have been uh, um, teaching many, many never never have been teaching uh, it's very difficult because in this moment not only um, teaching uh, in present uh, uh, we are teaching uh, in law online and some some teachers uh, don't use many software uh, for to make the class different, um, and many many students, uh, uh, I I think that uh, um, boring 
with some teacher and, and the student say it. The student says when a teacher is worried, when one teacher only read a presentation, when one teacher um, have a bad relation with the, with the student, uh, it's very difficult because um, in my university, the student um, con uh, is continuous that they make um, quejas. I don't know how to say quejas. Complaints. Complaints. Mm -hmm. Many complaints. Uh, uh. Complaints, yes. Um, uh, for that is not routine. The activities we are we we uh, did in, we do in uh, all days, but normally, normally clean the the desk, uh, check the email. Um, uh, what else? Uh, to verify, verify, mm -hmm. verify, verify. That's right. Yes. Verify, verify the activities of all all the um, workers. Um, we are very full from many capacitation trainings. Uh, tra okay, yes, training, training, many training about webinar, many mm -hmm. webinar, uh, and we have to to train in about that. It's very important. For for example, this day we have a training about the, the Bitcoin. Uh, what do, what uh, um, uh, do you think, for example, about Bitcoin? Uh, one hour for training. It's a it's a webinar. It was a webinar, but it's very interesting. And uh, we have many 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 uh, uh, webinar about many um, temas, themes, topics, topic, many topics. Topics, yeah. Uh, Yes, but when we start the class, is is different. It's different. Mm, it's only maybe I don't know what else. <laughs> okay, perfect. No problem. Okay. Um. Uh, to Marita, I didn't hear the uh, only. When you say, Marita, what did you do uh, the, the Saturday when you work? But you work only once, one, two Saturday on month, on the month, two Saturday. Two Saturday, only. Yes, what did you do each, each Saturday? What Oof. did you do? I... Many activities. In 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 this Saturday, I attending the the managers only. Generalmente solo uh, atiendo las que... las cosas que ellos piden. Assist. In this case, is assist assist. Mm -hmm, assist. I am I am a, a, a manager assistant. Oh, okay. I am. A, I am. I am a, a sec, sec, secret, sec, a secretary. 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 Yeah. You're a secretary. Oh, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So you have to do a lot of paperwork, Maritza. What? You have to. You have to do a lot of paperwork. I don't understand. Tienen que hacer mucho papeleo. You have to do a lot of paperwork. Yes, many, many. Mm. Um, what are your responsibilities? Okay. My responsibilities, I, I, man, um, no sé cómo se dice, soy, eh, tengo a cargo el mantenimiento de los vehículos de la empresa. Ah, okay. So in that case, is uh, I am in charge. I am in charge, or I'm in charge. I am in charge. In charge of the company's of car. Company's car maintenance. Maintenance. I'm going to, yeah, maintenance. 
Eh, mire, es bastante, bastante complicadas mis, mis, mis funciones bien técnicas, porque Ajá. nosotros eh, trabajamos en una, tenemos una fábrica de productos, productos cementicios. Entonces, el, el, el trabajo con ellos es bien técnico. Que, sí, que bueno, dice cementicio, ¿a qué se refiere? Ah, eh, okay. Fabricamos como, por ejemplo, pegamentos para productos que lleven mezcla de ce con cemento. Mm. El, oh, wow. ¿Cómo se llama el, la empresa? Reflex. Bueno, es wow. un consorcio de empresas. Es un consorcio de empresas porque una fabrica, eh, una produce, otra vende, mm. eh, otra tiene proyectos. Okay. Entonces, I work so eh, much eh, with concreto. <laughs> fabricamos, por ejemplo, no sé si han. All right, let me check if the camera, yeah, it's working well. So almost everybody's coming back right now. So yeah, we're good. Uh, so some groups obviously uh, had already probably anticipated the activity. So that's why you had the, 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 the sketch or the draft, right? Of your, of your well, the draft of your paragraph. And uh, some of you finish a little bit faster because you had less members in your teams. However, the, the most important, as I was telling some of the groups, is that you practice because usually we don't write in English. We, don't, we just listen, maybe we read a little bit and, um, and we try to speak, right? But the, the number one skill that we practice is usually listening, right? And second is speaking, I think. Or yeah, and then we go with reading and writing. So writing is the one that we don't practice that much. But as you know, writing and, and reading are connected. Writing and speaking are connected because when you write, you can say it. So uh, if you are shy to speak, you can practice writing, okay? You can organize your ideas, express your ideas, and later you can read the, your notebook and you are speaking. So that's, that's the point, right? So we're going to move on. Uh, we're not going to have the chance to listen to anybody unless we have a volunteer who would like to share uh, his or her procedure. But if not, don't worry, we're going to move on to the next part. And it's right here. I'm going to share the screen one more time. Here it is. So um, we're going to continue, okay, with writing. But this time is going to be a combination of listening and writing. Listen to me, okay? And write down what I say, okay? After that, we're going to check the dictation with the rest of the class. So for that, okay, I, you need your notebook one more time. I am going to read out loud, read aloud a little text, okay? A little text for you. And, uh, and that's it, okay? And that's it. So I'm going to... Let me check, just enter here. Wait a second. Okay, so I am going to read for you just uh, some lines, okay? Some lines, like a little paragraph, let's say, and you will try to copy everything as I said. I'm going to help you with the punctuation, don't worry about it. Uh, but you need to, uh, how can I tell you? You need to uh, be careful with spelling, okay? Spelling is important, capitalization is important. Remember that after every period, there is a, a little, uh, there's a, a capital letter. Uh, wait a second, this is a little stock. I don't know why. Okay, here it is. So, ready? Set, and here I come. So the, the title, okay, the title for the 
reading is the following. A Simple Life, A Simple Life, that is the title. Okay. The Amish are a group of religious communities. The Amish are a group of religious communities. I'm going to repeat every phrase, every sentence two times, okay? Period, and go on, okay? Period, and I continue the dictation. They are originally, they are originally from Europe. They are originally from Europe, comma. But they excuse now. Me, can you, can, excuse uh -huh. me, can you repeat the, 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 the list? They are originally from? Europe. Europe. Okay. But they now live in the USA and Canada. But they now live in the USA and Canada. Okay, period and continue. Because of their history, because of their history, they don't speak English at home. Because of their history, they don't speak English at home. Okay, uh, a little hyphen, hyphen is young, right? They speak an old fashioned German. They speak an old fashioned German. Period, and continue. They speak an old fashioned German. Amish families are usually large. Amish families are usually large. Can you please repeat? I, okay, Amish families are usually large. Comma, with six or seven children. with six or seven children, period, and continue. Their clothes are the same, their clothes are the same as the first Amish families, as the first Amish families 300 years ago, 300 years ago. Period and go on. One more sentence, okay? One, well, two more sentences. The men wear black shoes. The men wear black shoes. I mean, what did I tell you? The men wear black shoes, I said, right? Okay, it's a, it's a mistake. The men wear black hats, black hats. 
hats on the head, like Abraham Lincoln, right, the president. Black hats and dark suits. Okay, I'm sorry, my bad. I got confused with women. And dark. Okay, black hats and dark suits. Suits with the smoking, right? Suits. Very good. Period and continue. The women, the women wear long dresses. The women wear clothes, right? Wear long dresses, long dresses and black shoes and black shoes, period. Okay, let me check the chat. Okay, good. Uh, all married men, all married men, all married men have a beard, have a beard like the teacher. They have a beard, okay, beard. It's not beard, it's not bird, it's beard, right? But, comma, but no mustache, but no mustache. Mustache is what you have over your mouth, right? The hair that you have over your mouth. That's I for men, laugh. for men. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that was a good one, Brenda. Uh, period. And the last sentence, now I promise the last one. Their wives... Wives is the plural of wife, okay? Their wives have long hair. Their wives have long hair, comma, but they always cover it. But they always cover it. Period. And we finished. Finito. Stephanie, um, it's time to show you the truth. So I am going to share the screen one more time so you can compare, be honest with yourself, and correct, right? Put a little check or a little X in the corrections that you need to make. Okay? Excuse Maybe. me, teacher. Excuse me, uh -huh. teacher. Uh, the, the, the first sentences, I don't hear you. You didn't hear well, me well. Okay. Uh, yeah, the yes, beginning, the, the first at, the, sentence, at the beginning. The, first yes, sentence. the Amish are a group of religious communities. The Amish are a group of religious communities. Oh, okay. Okay. So here it is. Okay. Teacher, Thank you, sorry. Diana, for sending me the text. Uh huh. Uh, ah, Ruth and compartió. Ruth too. Ruth shared her text oh, too. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Okay, excellent. So you see, there are no limitations when you want to learn. You're listening, you're texting, you're chatting, you're working, you're driving. You are like Superman, right? And superwomen. So here we go. Uh, this is the text. So you can compare if you were close, if you had some little corrections, if you invented a new word. <laughs> okay, I will give you one minute for corrections and then we continue with the last activity. Don't forget to drink water, that is important. <laughs> okay. Fashion, and it was fashion. Yeah, little, little det details. <laughs> oh. 
who's who's laughing? Ah, I think it was it's Laura. Uh huh. Okay, so um, I I selected this text because I think it's really interesting, like to know Take about care. this. Hello. Teacher, the English it's always with a Third. capital yeah. letter. Yeah. Okay. Or seven. <laughs> English, yeah. <laughs> so when we're talking about um, languages, yes, or nationalities in English, we use capital letters. That's correct. In Spanish, we don't, right? But in English, yes. What? <laughs> what? Okay, the men, the, the men wear black hats and dark suits. Uh -huh. They put beer. Beer, like, <laughs> I like, ce word. Ce like cerveza. W-O-R-D. <laughs> oh, word. B-A-E-R, just joking. Word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, good. The, uh, is there any new word here? Maybe a word that you didn't know? Mary. Amish. Yeah. Amish. Okay. The Amish. They are similar to the Amish. I put it with the O, not with the A. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the Amish are very interesting, but different um, because of the lifestyle they have. Uh, so I think that it was a very informative reading to share with you. Now, we're going to move on, okay? Uh, did everybody finish checking? Yes, the, the Amish is like uh, Menonitas, similar. Yeah, it's very similar. I think oh. there's, a, there's a little difference between mm. Amish and Mennonites. Yeah, mm. there's a, a little difference. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can watch a little video, right? Or Google that, but yeah, there's a little difference, but not too much, not too much. Um, I think the Mennonites uh, are, are closer to the city. They have cell phone or they can have some technological things or they can do some things like we do, yes. but the Amish are more traditional. So no technology, it's, um, I think they, yeah, they, they don't they don't come to the city. They go to school, their own school until they are 12 years old. And after that, they can they have to work. The, the men have to the boys have to work and the girls have to help at home and learn how to cook and do different things. So it's a very special community or the life religious community. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's what I wanted to share with you today. And we go to the last part. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So, uh, well, I'm going to share it one more time just in case you want to have a screenshot, right, of the text. And in the last 10 minutes, we're going to try, try. We're going to finish probably on, uh, on Monday. Uh, to play a little trivia, okay, that I created. So uh, if you have never played trivia in English, well, hopefully this is going to be your first time and you're gonna like it. Okay, so you can take a screenshot quickly and now I, I am going to share with you the next one. Teacher. Hello. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, would you mind explaining uh, why the word no in some paragraphs we use with T at the end, but in some cases we only use N and O, like mm. in this paragraph. At the end of the, of the mm -hmm. paragraph, uh, we have no. Why not with T at the end? Yeah, uh, when you don't use the auxiliary, for example, do or am, 
or has for the negative, and you just use the verb, you use no without the T. For example, I have no money. If I don't, if I want to use the T, I say, I do not have money. So you have the two options, okay? So you can say the verb in affirmative and no after the verb. So for example, I like no one. Um, or I have no idea about that topic. Um, uh, or you can use the auxiliary, I don't have any idea. So it's about options. You have the two options, but if you use the verb plus the negative, is without the T, only no. Have no, I like no, I, I understand no, okay? So, uh, or you use the auxiliary and then with the negative and the verb, I don't understand. I don't know anything. So, uh, so that's 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 what you can say. Uh, for example, another another one can be there is no place like home. There is no place like home. No hay otro lugar como casa, right? There's no place like home. Uh, so that's the reason why sometimes you see no and sometimes you see not. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. That is for free. Remember, questions are for free, so you can ask me whatever you want. So here we go. Uh, can you see the trivia now? Yes, no? Oh, no, you cannot see it. Now? <laughs> yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, wait a second. I'm going to share sound. Good. So here we go. We have uh, four categories, uh, but because of time, we're going to focus only on one. General knowledge, geography and history, science, and technology. So here's the sound. Uh, wait, it's not working. Okay, never mind. So um, which category would you like to practice today? General knowledge, geography and history, or science or technology? General knowledge. General knowledge. General okay. knowledge. Yeah, not technical things. Okay. So let's go. What we're going to do is something very simple. Um, this time it's not competition. Okay. So we're just going to try to guess. Uh, but obviously, we need volunteers. So I need a volunteer for 100, one volunteer for 200, and one volunteer for 300, okay? The first three people to raise a hand. First three people, okay, Jennifer, Brenda, and? I raise my hand. Blanca, okay. So Jennifer, 100, Brenda, 200, and Blanca, 300. So, but the thing is that you raised your hand before I gave the indication, Blanca. That's, <laughs> that's when I lower the hand. Ah, okay, ah. Okay, okay. So here we go. If we, you can use, you can use uh, the, your classmates help, right? So if you don't know the answer, you can ask somebody else in the class. So you can choose, hey, like, hey, Freddy's, help me, please. I don't know. But you have to say, right? So you have the little comodine, right? The assistant. So, um, Number one is for Jennifer, right? Jennifer, 100. The question is, wait a second. What happened with this? It's uh, like, who wants to be a millionaire? Exactly. <laughs> wait, uh, okay. The tallest building, wait, no, this is not the question. I know the answer. Wait, wait, wait. I, I think I, I, got, I got stuck with this. Okay, so I'm going to open it. Okay, now it's ready. So Jennifer, remember, okay, right now is Jennifer. If she doesn't know, she's going to ask for help to somebody else, right? What's the name of the dog in The Simpsons? 
I'm not going to give you an option. So in this, this trivia is, you know, or you don't know, or you guess, right? <laughs> so Jennifer, I, do you know the answer? Or you want no, to, I don't, to, to I need don't help use, from someone? Yeah, I need help. Okay, so one person can help uh, Jennifer right now. Who knows the answer? What's the name of the, of the dog in The Simpsons? I'm not a fan either, but yeah. Uh-huh. Someone? Three, Santa, two. Santa system. Santa. Something like that. Santa, Santa, Santa. Santa helper. Little helper. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Santa's little helper. So, yes. Okay. Let's go on. Number two, Brenda. We go with the... 200. Eye of the Tiger is from the soundtrack of which 80s film? Oh my gosh. Help, ten, guys. Ten, ten, ten. Rocky. Ten, ten. Rocky. 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 Sorry. Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. Rocky. One, two, three, or four, or five? Rocky. One. The first no. one. Yes. <laughs> Rocky. Yes, of the Tiger. No, the correct yeah, answer, the, well, the uh, complete it, answer, you gave me 50%, right? It's Rocky it's number three. Three, okay, yeah. with, mis, with Mr. T, that's correct. Mr. T, yeah, Mr. Oh. T. He's the best. <laughs> He's the best. For <laughs> me, my, the best. My favorite is Rocky IV, uh, to be honest, with the Russian guy, yeah. I always seen this movie rocky three and i think that was the yeah. first one <laughs> sorry oh no rocky one is apollo rocky two it's uh i don't remember who it's uh, apollo two it's apollo two it's, it's apollo two yeah right? it's a revenge the number uh, one rocky, number three rocky lost uh -huh, and the rocky three is uh, mr t and rocky yeah. four is um uh, the russian one okay Russia. so uh Ivan ivan drago so here we go. Uh, yeah. 300. Uh, that was for Blanca, right? In Monsters Inc., what is Sully's full name? What is the full <laughs> name of Sully? Sullivan. 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 The complete Sullivan. name. The complete name. Sullivan. Yeah. Sullivan. It's not a no, it's not a complete what? name. Sullivan Monster. <laughs> no, no, no. I guess it's Michael. No, uh, James. Uh -huh. James, uh, maybe P, somebody said that. So, James Phil Sullivan. James P. That's right. Okay, James P. Sullivan. Correct. So, you need to watch more, you need to watch more movies, more animated movies, okay, for the next trivia. So, we're love, going to continue. I love I love Monster Inc. Okay. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. Excellent. Most so, of all because they have, it's, I don't know how to say, the, the, the part where it's supposed to be an, an mistakes in the movie, but but they are animators. And oh, the bloopers. Oh, the bloopers, yeah. Yeah, okay. They, yeah. The movie has bloopers and it's funny. Oh, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that. Okay, so uh, reactions. Uh, do you like the trivia? Do you like the dictation? Do you like the any of the activities today? Which one yes. was your favorite one? Yeah, we need more trivia. The tongue sisters, yeah, I was I was like uh, Dexter in the laboratory. Okay, what can I add here? What can I put here? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so yes, I'm glad it's Friday. So we had to have some fun, right? And at the same time yeah. work, at the same time work. So uh, use the language that is the most important and learn new things. So um, quickly, I'm going to take the tennis to check that everybody's here, Freddy's. Yeah. I need a new throat. Uh, Blanca? <laughs> Yes, I'm here. Jackie? I'm here. Yanari? I'm here. Ruth? Rolando? I'm here. I'm here. Yes, sí. I'm here. I'm here. Miguel Angel? Sí. Okay. I'm here. Merlin? 
Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Uh, well, Karen is not here today. Juan Jose. I am here. Jennifer. Present, teacher. Uh, Laura. Present, teacher. Francisco. Here. Flor. Idalma. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Diana. Carla. She can't speak today. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Carla. Uh, I'm here. Brenda. I'm here. Mariela. I'm here. And Beatrix. I'm here. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. Brenda, raise your hand. Okay, yeah, I saw that. Don't worry. Uh, I did it. It's, it says there that you raised your hand. I don't know. Yeah, it's very strange. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, quickly, I just wanted to remind you, right, that um, there's someone who's going to stay with me today. So um, that will be Glenda, right? Laura. So, Laura, are you staying? Yes, I am here. Okay, okay, perfect. So on Monday, we have um, Rolando. Tuesday, okay, so we continue with Mariela and so on. Okay, perfect. So guys, do you have any comments, any questions before you we say goodbye? And you enjoy your weekend. I still have to watch thank more. <laughs> Only thank you, teacher. Just thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Oh, have we have nice to take weekend. the picture. We have to take the mm -hmm. picture. Don't forget to turn on the cameras. Okay, the people that can activate it, the picture to finish the week. We did it. Esperate. Yes. Not <laughs> tomar la picture. That's correct. Okay. Um, let me check. Ready? Set and go. <laughs> Say chicha. No, that what was the word that you said? <laughs> yeah, chicha. <laughs> okay, in the tongue twister, right? <laughs> Okay, so uh, don't forget about Tom Twister for Monday, right? At the beginning of the class, so okay. one one of them. And that will be all. I'm going to share the screenshot with you through the WhatsApp group later. Uh, so <laughs> have a good night. Take care of yourself. Uh, God bless you all, guys. Hope to see you next week. Uh, Thank practice, you. Nice. study, review, right? What we have studied. And don't forget to take care of yourself, sleep. right? To be sleep. very careful if you, yeah. Drink a lot of water, sleep, rest. Who has? You drink and drag. Eat a lot. Of. Who has the a lot. Eat who has it? In 10 minutes before ah, the class. Right, right now it's Laura. Okay. Okay. Bye. See you Good guys. Night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. All right. Miss oh. Salada. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling today shy. Ah, uh, <laughs> why? Why is that? Uh, because I um, forget all my vocabulary. Ah, uh, no, come on. That's, that's, yeah. that's only your mind. It's not true. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Laura, tell me, how can I help you today? And I really, uh, uh, I promise, repay, uh, study tomorrow or review, review and study uh, all class and uh, tomorrow because my connection, uh, my, my, daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my connection is not good. Uh, 
then I I have repeat the class and, and this week I mean, has been difficult for me because this week has a lot of close of business for the finance terms, mm -hmm. And so, um, I started this weekend. And um, some doubts, the, the, do that doubts? Doubts, yeah. I don't, I don't have. Okay. Something that you feel that you need to improve or you need to practice more? Yes. What? What is it? I know that. What? What is is that uh, area that you need help or something that you consider can be very useful for you or necessary to practice more? I think it's grammar. Speaking, grammar. Grammar and, and pronunciation. Uh, fluency because I uh, I forgot the conversation or or my vocabulary is lost <laughs> in this moment. Uh, I can I I think this is the areas that I need uh, work. Okay, so if you say grammar, uh, I think that uh, as you are co-workers with, um, with Karen, right? Yes. So in that case, uh, I, I was giving her some tips yesterday about how to practice more. Uh, so maybe you, you can talk to her because she told me that now you practice uh, in what other work you practice english together uh, no because uh, i go to my work every day or all mm. day in the week and she only go one uh, two or three days a week mm -hmm. so because... but but i mean there's an opportunity right to practice a little bit uh with her and i was giving her some advice or some recommendations for uh, for practicing or improving uh grammar also with speaking because she told me that in her job I, she needs to speak to different people so maybe she can give you the link or the information that i shared with her um so they can practice too i am sharing with you through the chat right now some websites where you can focus on on grammar uh, and let me check i'm missing just one more so what i what what i what what i told uh What I told Karen is that uh, it is it is important it is important that when you are trying to learn or or improve your grammar, for example, you need to do a lot of practice. It's not, I mean, the idea is not to be reading and memorizing a lot of rules or formulas. No, uh, the most important in this case is that you. Uh, do the exercise that you use the, the the grammar you do the exercises about the topic so um for that reason i think that uh, practice is very important so you, if you have well in your cell phone you can download applications where you can practice uh, the topics that are difficult for you so right now I share with you three links, okay, of three different websites that are related to grammar. Uh, if you don't have a lot of time to write or to, to use an application, maybe you, you 
could consider uh, watching a little video, right? About the topic that is difficult for you. For example, the simple past, or you have problems with the conjugation of the verbs, or you have problems with- um, The auxiliaries. The auxiliaries, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's correct. So, uh, I'm going to share with you one, one link. Okay, give me a second. Okay. You have one daughter, right? Yes, I have two daughters. Two daughters. One, yes. One, I, ah. uh, one have, oh, what is it? One is eight years old. Another baby is two years old. Okay. <laughs> so the one of the, yeah, it's, children at home it's a little difficult sometimes when when you want to concentrate right yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's very very difficult to me because my baby is very uh, ruidosa noisy yes noisy, uh -huh. noisy. she's very noisy And, <laughs> and it's difficult sometimes. Yeah, okay, so I just shared two links of the videos or channels that you can uh, watch uh, about grammar and um, something that is necessary that you do or that any person who is learning a language does is to make a little plan of how you are going to practice during the week or how much time you will dedicate to the language right so um maybe i mean you have classes from monday to friday but you want to practice more listening or you want to practice more grammar so maybe you can say, I'm going to dedicate um, 20 minutes or 15 minutes to practice one unit or one lesson, okay? You do the exercises and then, okay, next, next day or next week, you continue with the next lesson and you go little by little. But that is important that you have the habit or you create a routine. You create a routine, okay, to to let's say uh, improve, uh -huh, to practice and to improve, right? So if you are constant, there will be a moment that you will see that you understand more, that you use the language in a better way, that you have more vocabulary. For example, you mentioned vocabulary. So maybe you can think, okay, I'm going to learn three words every day. And then you write down the word, you write down the pronunciation, you create or think about one example using that sentence, using that word, sorry. Uh, and you have a little notebook, right? With your vocabulary, the new vocabulary in the class, new word, okay, you write it down. Pronunciation teacher, okay, this, you write it down and then you, you study. So if you have a notebook with, with the new words that you are learning, for example, that can help you, right? To, if you forget something, okay, check the notebook, ah, this is the word. So you have more um, okay. organization, let's say, to, to study the vocabulary or to learn the new words. So that would be my recommendation about vocabulary uh, and about grammar too. So if you don't the have any, Yeah, the connection is bad, I know. Sorry about that, uh, but did you listen to what I say? The, the last 
when I can hear you. So that's what I that's what I wanted to share with you, or that what I can share right now about grammar and vocabulary. And if you have any other doubts, you know that you can ask me, right? Okay, thank you. You're I, welcome. I will study. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Have a good night, Laura. See you uh, next week. See you too. <laughs> the next week. Good night. Good night. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you.